tutorial i am going to show and discuss how we write the playwright test script and run with multiple setup data okay so how we create and how we implement data driven approach in playwright test okay so what we discuss in this tutorial so i have created one test for the wikipedia search then i have create i will create a data provider okay in same class with multiple set of data then i will configure how we run the test with multiple set of data by using the data provider okay i will then i will execute the test and that will work run in separate browser right for each data it will launch the browser and then run the test and close after that i will run single test sing uh, i will run all the test on a single browser instance okay means test will run on a single browser first it will launch the browser then it will run each test for each data and at the end it will close in next i will put the data provider in a separate class and i will show how we use the data providers from separate java class so these points i am going to discuss today in this video okay so here you can see i have created one test so that we can save the time okay these are the tests written in the test engine using the playwright okay now if we want to perform the data driven approach then we need to use the test ng data provider concept so i am going to use the test ng data provider concept in this test okay what we are doing here so it will navigate the url okay wikipedia main page and then it will enter here country okay like i am going to here enter the india click on search button and then verify india is reflected here next i will search here different country like the us click on search button and verify and will verify here united state okay so uk i will search and then verify here united kingdom so one test like search functionality of wikipedia i will run with multiple set of data let's see how we implement this so first of all i will create a data provider here by using the data provider annotation of the test engine okay here we need to give the name of the data provider like i am giving test data and then create a method which will return object type two dimensional of object okay import the data provider now here we need to create two dimensional array by using object so let's create object equal to new object okay so we are going to provide here first country this is the two dimensional array so we can put in curly bracket then what we will get result result we will get the india next data we need to put us and what we will get here next uk and like here i am getting united kingdom so this is the search result if i search here us 
we will get United State. Okay, ne next. In like UAE. United Arab Emirate. So these data I am going to pass here. Okay, so data provider I created here and it will return the object. So now I'm going to return this object. Okay, object are two dimensional array. So now data provider is created. Let's use this data provider in our test. So here we have data provider attribute where we can pass the data provider name. Okay, here we have two set of data like one is the country code, then second is the country. We can here pass suppose there are two variables, one will x um, need one variable what we are going to search like this is the country second is result so this variable i need to pass here when we are filling the value in the search field then here the click and then here i am verifying so here we can pass the result now data our test is ready to run with multiple set of data means all the set of data so this point i have covered create a data provider in same class so data provider is created and then configure the test to run with multiple set of data using data provider this is also configured here now let's run the test and you will see it will launch a browser for each set of data, run the test, and then it will close. Okay, so you can see the execution is started. Okay, done first, running the second test. So tests are running so fast, okay. Let's add here some sleep. So let me add here some sleep after this click on search. So two seconds sleep I have given here. Now running the test again. First test executed, second, for running for third test data, now it's going to run for fourth UA. And in the console you can see the result here and data you will also see here the test is executed for which data. So these tests are running independently, right? Your test is running independently. If test is failed for any data, it will not impact on any other execute, others execution. Next, how we run the test in a single browser, sing, right? And uh, browser instance. So let's create then in that case, I can create here before section like before class okay so as we know if we write any code here in the before class it will execute before running each test so this is the feature of the test engine if you know more detail about the test engine so i have added the links for the test engine uh, annotations you can go with that video so let's move all these codes here 
pages I am going to use as well as the close. So let's move here, create here variable. Private playwright private data type. This is page. Okay. So let's store the value in instance variable instead of local variable. Now pages and browse playwright is accessible here. And let's add here one port like after class section here we will close the browser public void tear down let's move this close here now as per the test ng annotations this section will execute first after that test will execute and once test is run successfully or maybe fail it execute for each set of data after that after class section will invoke and it will close the browsers so let me run now and you will see test will run with all set data on a single browser instance so running the test now Yeah, you can see searching the countries on the same browser, not opening the new one. And then it after that, at the end it closed. Okay, so here next point. Currently I am using the data provider in the same class, but if we data move the data provider in different files, in Java files, then how we it will work. So let me create one more class here. My data provider. Okay. I am going to move this data provider in my data provider class. So now data provider is in different class. So now if I will run, you will see SNG will not able to find the data provider name. And we will get the error here you can see null part exception stsng exception okay why we are getting so if you look the error required data provider name test data and this is not available okay because the data provider is in separate class okay now if you want to provide the reference of the class we can use your data provider class and give the my data class name dot class okay so now if i run you will see it will work so now running the test Okay, execution done successfully. You can see our uh, test is passed for all set of data. Okay. Okay, so now hope this will be helpful for you.